Hello and welcome to the music course presentation for East Sussex College Group for Hastings, situated at Or Valley. Now the aim of this presentation is to give you an overview of the course and enable you to make a more informed choice at the end of this presentation. After this, we will be providing opportunities for you to be involved in a live question and answer session. This should allow you to talk directly to the lecturers and get a feel for the team delivering this music course, and also to help answer any questions that were not covered in the presentation. I would say to actively seek questions to ask. So you're actively involved in this presentation. Any questions that come to mind, make a quick note of them. And if they're not answered, that's your opportunity to ask them during the Q&A at the end. The team consists of Malcolm Levon, Gary Palmer, which is myself, and they call me Palmer at college and I'm happy for that, and Dale Weston. I would say between the three of us, we've got probably over 50 years of experience within the music and creative industry, all the way from um, singer songwriters and recording in studios, recording live, live performances, um, sound design, composing music, arranging music, editing, mixing, and making music for a wide variety of genres and applications. So I would say you're in pretty good hands. Let's move on. At level two, we offer UAL Awarding Body Diploma in Music, Performance and Production. And the UAL stands for University of the Arts London, which is situated in London. And it has connections with the awarding body for UAL. Now, in order to qualify access to this course, you require three GCSEs at grade D or grade three or above. If you have done the UAL course at level one, that should provide enough to come onto the level two course. If you have been able to achieve a level one functional skills qualification in English and maths, it will also give you an opportunity to apply. If you didn't have any of these, don't worry. You can still demonstrate that you are actively making or performing music. If you can do that, we will consider your suitability for the course. And this will require a conversation with a lecturer. We also offer entry to UAL at level three, and that would be the diploma in the first year and extended diploma in the second year. And that will be a diploma in music performance and production. To come onto this UAL course at level three requires a level two qualification or four GCSEs at grade C or a grade four, or if you have a level two functional skills qualification in English and maths. And like the level two, if you can demonstrate you are making music and that you are interested in performing music or you have made some, then we will consider you after a conversation with a lecturer. Now let's move on to the next slide. This is delivery and assessment. No exams are required on this course. It is all project based. You are expected to create a portfolio of your own unique creative work produced throughout each year. And you will demonstrate that and show it at the end of each academic year through a final major project. You can provide video and audio evidence to support your work. And there is quite a lot of working independently and working within a group. You must be able to do that, to work independently and within a group. These are essential skills within the music creative industry. And it is something that we continuously focus on and encourage and support and develop throughout your entire time when you're here. There are both classroom lectures and your personal study time. Most of the practical workshops are designed to enable you to build on what you have done before and to create in a supportive and friendly working environment. 
Your work is demonstrated through a variety of ways, including your own website. You have to create your own website or a digital platform, which will enable you to organize, upload your work for assessment and feedback. And this is also looked at by a UAL representative. This is an opportunity for you to take ownership of your work. Okay, make it as artistic as you see fit to present who you are and what you are as an artist. Now, this presentation will show examples of student work via their own website a little further on. Now, let's look at the next slide. We will look at what can be learned on this music performance and production course. Now, there is a wide range of what we call technical or hard skills. These technical skills can be taught through lectures, demonstrations, workshops. Sometimes we'll probably even get you to stand up and present and talk about uh, areas of the, those technicalities. There are lectures in songwriting, composing, recording, active listening skills, performance skills, music production techniques, music theory, setting up microphones for different locations or knowing your way around a mixer. Um, we often teach a lot through the art of discussion, being able to express yourself and articulate your thoughts and ideas. Now, there is another side, which is those transferable skills. And often uh, our students find that side a little more difficult, actually. And these are those softer skills how to meet deadlines, how to utilize time better when working solo or as a group. How can you increase efficiency through better organizational methods to increase your workflow? Are you constructive and supportive in your feedback to friends and peers? These areas are some of the essential transferable or soft skills you're going to need within any industry, not just the music or the creative ones. The possible career choices. Now, the possible careers within the industry can be quite broad, as you can see from the list. Music producer, sound technician, sound editor, sound designer, audio editor. This list is just a limited selection of the possibilities. I'll give you an example. We had one student who uh, arrived in the course and was just interested in making, making her music. And she became interested in how music had a positive reaction uh, and a positive response from car trauma victims in an East Sussex rehabilitation clinic. And it kind of prompted her to get involved in pursuing elements of music therapy. You know, so it can be quite, it can be quite broad. It's really important that you investigate this. And yes, that is my advice would be to start actively exploring the possible job opportunities while on the course. This will give you a better focus, I think, than just learning about making music. We strive for a holistic, supportive and productive environment. The studio we have is suitable for the needs of recording at industry standard. Our door of choice and DOOR stands for Digital Audio Workstation. It's Cubase 10, um, soon to be upgraded to 10.5. And we also have Native Instruments Complete 11 Music Suite. This suite has hundreds of instruments, VST instruments, and compressors and effects and processes that will enable you to make professional standard music. You can use your own laptop if you so wish with your own music software, whether FL Studio, Ableton Live, Logic, completely up to you. You will have to apply those techniques that we deliver to that particular software. And it is so important you get to know how to use your software. Those are your tools. They are essential for you making your music well. Now we are coming towards the end of our presentation. Oh, so I don't don't forget, you will need your own headphones on this course, and you will need some kind of portable hard drive to save your work. Headphones, it's budget pending. So don't think that you need to buy 200 pound headphones. 
sure if you've got the budget go for it but generally maybe a 20 or 30 pound headphones would give you a decent um, sound and we will enable you to compensate for consumer headphones um, in comparison to professional headphones now look we're coming towards the end of the presentation and i'm going to show you a few examples of students audio work over the years There we are. Quick look at some students' work. Welcome to The Collective, our music department's website that showcases the students' good work, and this is coastupload.co.uk. There are certain areas that are open to the public to browse. That's looking at the students' videos and listening to their music or looking at the blog or the alumni. But there are other areas which require login details. That's because often we would use it also to feedback to our students and to allow them to access certain resources. Go on, check it out.
They say I'm big headed, I prefer top heavy And I'm much dreading like the bottom of your bevy uh, Pay me daily and I'll hit you with this vocal It's first class delivery, I spit the shit postal wow. I throw a K in the air cause I'm coastal I'm on my social when I'm back where I reside yeah, it gets crazy by the seaside Don't face the facts then tell him why he hide Like she lied to my friends. It's the last stroke of the day that makes me want to stay When you turn over there, cause you don't want to play I know that you've been there, when you're coming down I heard what you said, but you never made a sound You've been hanging by the shops, cause there's nothing else to do I'm looking for some clothes, I'm looking for some shoes I've seen you speaking out, smoking cigarettes Said you're gonna quit, but today was like the rest when it goes on. Hopefully, when you join the course, we can look forward to hearing your to hearing your music or your audio designs. If you have any questions, stick around in an answer session, straight in an answer session, straight after this presentation.